Okay, good afternoon everybody at the outset. I would like to thank the entire team of Energies and President and Secretary uh, of Energies for giving me this opportunity to speak on vaccination in pregnancy, the latest guidelines. This is something that all of us need to update ourselves and really thanks, let's toast to vaccines because thanks to the vaccines that we are leading this life today and we don't have to really like how it happened uh, many years back. Pregnancy is indeed a very special situation, although physiological has a very high risk of developing infections and certain diseases during pregnancy can harm the mother as well as the fetus. Few diseases can cause serious health implications which can be very easily prevented by either preconceptional or antenatal vaccinations. Vaccination during pregnancy protects the baby from serious diseases, for example, flu, pertussis and tetanus. So let's, let's come to the main topic for the day. Foxy has given us very clear guidelines about vaccinations for pregnancy. Let's just focus on the main chart because the topic focuses on the vaccination during pregnancy. Coming to hepatitis, yes, if it is indicated the woman has not been vaccinated, be vaccinated before, then hepatitis B, then HPV definitely not to be given during pregnancy. Influenza inactivated vaccine, definitely yes to be given during pregnancy. Rubella, a big no to be given during pregnancy. Tida, yes, vaccinate during each and every pregnancy between 27 and 37, 36 weeks of gestation. Tetanus from second trimester onwards, I will come to the specific uh, protocols when we come to that. And varicella, preconception but never antenatal. So let's focus on the top, uh, top of the town, the COVID, the, the current wave which is causing havoc in our country. So this is how a COVID uh, virus looks like. And the COVID vaccine targets again this peak spike proteins which are present on the virus. The vaccine that we give, they create antibodies which get, you know, they, they attack these spike proteins. And these spike proteins basically go and attach to various organs in our body. And these vaccines will prevent this adherence by, by getting attached adherent to these spike proteins. Currently with this new variant, why are we more worried? Because the mutations are now happening on these spikes, the spike proteins. And therefore, the vaccine experts are a little worried whether these vaccines which were available now will work on this, the new variant. Entire pregnancy up to 42 weeks postpartum is a high risk period for COVID. Because it is associated with severe disease, higher requirement of intensive care, preterm labor, stillbirth, coagulopathies and mortality. Initially, of course, in the last first wave, it was not recommended because trials in pregnancy were not done due to safety issues. But now, we have very robust safety data of vaccines in pregnancy. We have those two, these two, three systems in place, which are very categorically mentioned that it is safe for the pregnant women to be vaccinated with COVID. A VSEP surveillance system, a VSEP pregnancy registry, where there is an online data of more than 35,000 women. Many of them were pregnant, some were intended to conceive, and some women who conceive either during or after vaccination. Also, the VAERA, that is the Vaccine Associated Adverse Event Reporting System, also has mentioned that there is no increase in incidence of any obstetric adverse event because of the vaccination. And similar observations were also documented all over the world, including India. And that is how we got the MOH approval for vaccination, COVID vaccination for pregnant women in July 2021. What is the protocol in pregnancy? If the it remains unchanged, at present with the COVID live vaccine is a live vaccine. Uh, no COVID vaccine is a live vaccine, so it can be very safely given during pregnancy. Schedule remains unchanged. It remains the same. Co vaccine is an inactivated vaccine, two doses, one month apart, four weeks apart. COVID shield is a viral vector vaccine, two doses to be given again, four weeks apart. The other schedule is zero and three months in between when there was a, a shortage of vaccine uh, in our country. Both are safe, both are very effective. We just need to know about the DTS thrombosis and thrombocytopenia syndrome, which is there is a higher incidence in the age group of 18 to 50 years especially more common in females with the first dose and it is associated with uh, severe uh, headache, blurring of vision, active chest syndrome, abdominal pain with vomiting, pain in lower limbs with swelling. But remember early diagnosis is key to very good recovery and treatment would be IV, IG and steroids. But something which is very important for us to remember that we should not discourage women for vaccinating just for this complication because the incidence of thrombosis in pregnancy with COVID, the disease is much more than the vaccine induced thrombosis. These are common questions which are asked, when can I get vaccinated? It is considered to be safe and effective during any stage of pregnancy right from first trimester to last. Then there is no evidence that delaying it until after the first 12 weeks is necessary, whatever the current evidence is. It can be given to lactating mother, yes, all our breastfeeding women must be vaccinated, they are safe, effective, 
scheduled to be made unchanged. Pregnant women vaccinated during pregnancy have shown antibodies in the blood blood, whereas during lactation, if they have been vaccinated, protective antibodies have been documented in the breast milk as well. This is the RCOG guideline, which again has recommended COVID in pregnancy as well as in breastfeeding. The same questions, commonly asked questions, whether I can have COVID vaccine if I am breastfeeding. Yes, surely you can have. Should I have a COVID-19 vaccine if I plan to become pregnant? Definitely you can. Getting vaccinated before pregnancy, in fact, will help prevent COVID infection and its serious consequences during pregnancy. Common question would be, if I am trying to get pregnant, if I have had just the first dose, should I delay my second dose or should I, should I delay my pregnancy? No safe recommendation, she can safely continue with her pregnancy and with her vaccination schedule as well. So remember, a vaccine is for all and no vaccine for me, the baby will file a sue or he will sue you in the court. Coming to the next vaccine, the TIDA vaccination. TIDA vaccination, pertussis, especially is on the rise and outbreaks are happening across the world. Most of the deaths are among the infants who are either too young to be protected by the childhood pertussis vaccination, which actually starts when the baby is two months old. And these first two few months of life when the infants are at the greatest risk of contracting pertussis and having severe potentially life-threatening complications from the infection. This is the time we need to protect our babies. And to help protect the, the babies during this time, it is extremely important that we vaccinate each and every pregnancy with a TIDA vaccine. Protection, why and why do we vaccinate every pregnancy? Don't think that I have vaccinated, she has taken a vaccine the first pregnancy, she will not require it in the next. Each and every pregnancy, she must receive one dose of TIDA because protection from purchases will start waning early. So it is recommended to be given in every pregnancy. If TIDA is administered in the preconception visit, it should be administered again between 27 to 36 weeks. Please remember. The risk of neonatal tetanus among TIDA purchases we have covered. Neonatal tetanus is minimal if a previously unvaccinated woman has received at least two properly spaced doses of TG containing vaccine during pregnancy. At least one of these doses of DT should be TDAP to be given. Again, I am emphasizing between 27 to 36 weeks of pregnancy. The optimal time is actually 27 to 36 weeks. Preferably during the earlier part of this period. So try vaccinate your women between 27, 20, 29 weeks and don't, don't stretch it till the end. To maximize the maternal antibody response and passive antibody transfer to the infant. Fewer babies will be hospitalized for and will die from pertussis when TDAP is given during pregnancy. Can it be given early in pregnancy? As I told you, the time to refrain is 27 weeks onwards, but can be given earlier in pregnancy in events of any good, uh, for any good care or for any community outbreaks in the community. Only one dose is recommended during each pregnancy. The CDC recommends, again the same recommendation from CDC, what we have just enumerated. Is it contraindicated pregnancy? <coughs> Definitely not. It is safe both for the mother and for the infant to be administered any time. But we should administer between 27 weeks onwards only. Instead of a plain TT, TDA vaccination should be offered 28 to 32 weeks. And the importance of vaccine lies in the fact that neonates at risk for infection in the first two months of their life will be protected by this vaccination to the mother. The commonly available brands of TDA are Boostrix and Alisal. Now coming to the third vaccine which is important and to be given to every pregnant woman is a flu vaccine. Oh my god, another vaccination but yes, we have to give it. Why flu vaccination? Because influenza causes severe illness in pregnant women. Because of the changes of the immune system, heart, lungs during pregnancy make these women more susceptible to influenza, severe enough to cause hospitalization during pregnancy up to two weeks postpartum. Influenza may also be harmful for the developing baby and because it has been shown in certain studies that influenza infection during pregnancy can cause neural tube defects in the baby. Getting an influenza vaccine is the first and foremost step that we can take towards protecting a woman against flu and of course the baby. <coughs> Vaccination has shown to reduce the risk of flu associated acute respiratory infections in pregnant women by 50% and risk of hospitaliz hospitalization by 40%. It helps to protect the babies from flu illness for the first several months when they are too young to get the vaccine. When to give flu vaccine? Flu vaccine again can be given safely any time during pregnancy. This is the latest CDC guideline. Initially we were giving after 15 weeks of pregnancy but the latest CDC guideline says that you can safely give it any time. Only inactivated flu vaccines are allowed. No live intranasal live vaccine to be given. Only one dose during that pregnancy is to be taken. 
and the latest available vaccine strain has to be used. So make sure when you buy the vaccine from the companies, make sure that you are getting the latest available vaccine strain. That is extremely important because the strains keep changing every month, every year. The FOXI guidelines, again the same FOXI guidelines that inactivated vaccine should be given to the mother. The vaccine can be given during any time of pregnancy. You can also time TDAP along with flu vaccine just for, for just for the convenience. Ideally, the vaccine should be administered. So, uh, generally the influenza, the seasonal flu starts around uh, rainy season. So, ideally, what you can also time if the pregnancy timing matches with the rain, uh, rainy season, then you can actually administer this vaccine just before the uh, flu uh, season starts. And live attenuated influenza vaccine is definitely contraindicated. The commonly flu vaccines which are quadrivalent available in the market are Influvac, Fluvarix, Fluquadri, Vaxi Flu and the dose is 0.5 ml intramuscularly. So don't be a slot. Encourage all your women to get vaccinated. Educate yourself and counsel them. Many a times because of the cost factor women tend to ignore that kya zaruri hai in family with a kisi ne nila gaya but we need to tell them that why it is so important to get vaccinated. So vaccination has a potential to reduce the burden of infectious disease in pregnant women and our infant. Fetus as well as the infant is protected due to transplacental transfer of antibodies. No live vaccine to be given during pregnancy. Pre vaccination protects the woman from the severe disease during pregnancy like COVID and flu. TDAP must be given in each and every pregnancy. Flu vaccine can be given during any time of pregnancy and only inactivated vaccines to be given. Recommended gestation period for TDA or TD is 26 to 20, 37 weeks. COVID available vaccines, which are available right now, that is Covaxin and Covishield, they are safe and protected during pregnancy and can be given throughout the pregnancy and lactation. Please do not delay their doses in the first trimester. The hepatitis B vaccination can be done if needed during pregnancy. If she's not been vaccinated before, you of course can vaccinate her. And remember, don't forget the preconception period. Encourage all youngsters to come, come for free conception visits and at this visit, encourage protection additionally against chicken pox and rubella which can save the mother and baby from severe birth complications. So tell them you are a cool mom, just take the vaccines. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, thank you very much for the wonderful delegation. You have covered the topic so nicely, giving insight into the full subject and clearing all the doubts, especially the COVID vaccine that the patients keep on asking that should be yes. taken. Thank you very much. Thank you. One question I just wanted to ask. Sure. Suppose the patient has taken two TT vaccines. TT, yeah. Yes. And then she comes to you. Should we give Yes, additionally one TDAP vaccine must be given after 27 weeks. Yes. Irrespective of whether it is Yes, irrespective of Of course, with a gap of four weeks from the last dose.